Hello, every person on this planet. In this video, I want to show you how you can create these viral cloth animation at home. As always, you need to create new project and cleanse the workflow. So next step is to create any object you want. It can be cube, sphere, cunis, and any other, and adjust it like you want. Also, you can import any downloaded object from your computer. In my case, I'm import Steve model from Minecraft. So now you can adjust your scene as you want. Put some textures and lightning. Let's start second step, creating the cloth. You need to create new plane and move it upper than your main object. And let's increase scale of out cloth from two by two meters to three by three meters. Now we need to apply cloth physics to our plane. In cloth settings, you should go down in menu to collisions, unfold it and increase quality from two to 10 and turn on self collisions. After you turned it on, you need to decrease distance parameter to 0, 0 0.001 to avoid artifacts when you have small objects and huge amount of vertices. Now we start our animation by clicking play button and it goes through the objects. To fix this, we need to enable collisions in physics. Properties for all objects our cloth will fall on. After when we made it, let's try again to play animation. Now it falls and hits our object without cloth physics. To improve it, you should go to edit mode and apply couple subdivides for your cloth. And now we have almost workable cloth animation. As you see, Steve's mouth trying to eat our cloth and we must fix it immediately. We need to go in Steve's collision property and uncheck single-sided box. So now it works fine. P.S. This bug can appear with any model you use. Now I will show you why I set low distance and self-collision for cloth. I returned it to default value and add couple subdivides to cloth and scale little bit down. In 500% speed, you see that cloth start shrinking and it looks unrealistic. So when I return lower distance for self-collisions, you see that everything works fine. Now I will move away this Steve and show you how it works for another objects. I can see nothing by the way. So let's add color material to our cloth. When we change the color, we can see how cloth working on this sphere. So let's scale cloth up, but always return to first frame when you changing cloth parameters to make them more precise. So let's play an animation and watch the result. As you see, it looks good. So now we can add shade smooth by right mouse click. For a better visual experience, you can add subdivision modifier. So your cloth will have amazing quality. Be aware, your computer can blows up while rendering it. Thank you for watching and ask in comments any question you want. Bye.